Could we be living in a steady state universe? Since the mid 1960s and the invention of the cosmic microwave background, the Big Bang has stood alone, largely unchallenged, because the main idea of our cosmic origins, our universe, at the very least the universe as we observe it, began off in a sizzling, dense, principally uniform state some 13.8 billion years in the past, and has expanded, cooled, and gravitated ever since, giving rise to the star and galaxy-rich cosmos we see right now. But the Big Bang didn't emerge as our consensus place as a result of we can't think about any alternate options, however slightly as a result of each critical various that makes quantitative predictions fails to breed the universe we've. Even the Big Bang's most enduring competitor, the steady state idea, can't replicate the Big Bang's observational successes, regardless of an unlimited, Herculean effort by among the most sensible minds in historical past. Bayer's 123 writes in to easily ask the next. Has the steady state theory been disproven? In science, we don't actually show or disprove hypotheses. However the information can both validate or refute the predictions of any explicit speculation. In the case of the steady state idea, it yields at the very least four significant predictions that battle with the info weave. This would possibly function a sensible refutation of the steady state idea's central concepts. However it's much more priceless as an illustration of how science efficiently works. Let's look at the proof for ourselves. Back within the 20s, the primary main clues in direction of the character of our universe's origins, each from the observational and theoretical views, had been revealed to humanity. On the theoretical facet, Alexander Friedman first derived an important answer to general relativity in all of contemporary cosmology, how a universe full of no-matter substances you may think about, uniformly, will evolve with time. Anything you may dream up, together with unique substances that Friedman himself by no means imagined, regular matter, darkish matter, black holes, neutrinos, a cosmological fixed, darkish power, cosmic strings, spatial curvature, area partitions, magnetic monopoles, radiation, and an entire lot extra are all described by the identical equations, identified right now because the Friedman equations. These had been derived all the way in which again in 1922, and so they got here to a startling conclusion, that in case your universe is full of the identical kind and quantity of stuff, in all places and in all instructions, on common, then it can't be static, and can both develop or contract. A universe that's evenly full of stuff in all places you look can't be unchanging. The very subsequent 12 months, 1923, marked the 12 months that Edwin Hubble's crucial observations got here in. By figuring out a selected class of star within the Andromeda Nebula, he established the gap to that object, displaying that it was far, far exterior our personal galaxy. Over the subsequent few years, Hubble discovered that very same kind of star in lots of different spirals within the sky, establishing their distance from us and discovering alongside the way in which that the farther away a galaxy was from us, on common, the quicker it appeared to recede from us. By the late twenties, the notion of the increasing universe started to be quickly accepted. In 1927, George's Lee Mater put the idea and the observations collectively for the primary time, deriving what we now know as Hubble's Law. In 1928, Howard Robertson did the identical factor independently, however it was Edwin Hubble's 1929 paper, which had a lot increasingly complete information than any of the prior analyses, that put the entire items collectively and reached the broader group. It grew to become, in brief order, very clear that the universe was giant, stuffed with galaxies, and increasing. In some ways, this marked the start of contemporary cosmology. If the universe was increasing, although, then what did that imply for our origin and our destiny? Where did the universe come from? How did it get to be the way in which we see it right now?
and the place is it heading sooner or later. There had been many potential solutions with simply this one piece of proof, the increasing universe, even taking the belief that Einstein's general relativity was our right idea of gravity. The most well-known instance right now is the Big Bang, which hypothesized that the rationale we see the universe as giant, clumpy, and increasing right now is as a result of it was smaller, hotter, and denser up to now. As time has gone on, the universe expands, gravitates, and cools, giving rise to the universe as we see it right now. If we glance earlier, it's extra uniform and warmer, which signifies that galaxies ought to evolve, being smaller, intrinsically bluer, decrease in heavy components, and stuffed with youthful stellar populations the sooner we glance. There ought to be a leftover bath of radiation redshifted to only a few levels above absolute zero by right now, that was launched when the universe cooled sufficient to permit the formation of impartial atoms without instantly ionizing them. And there ought to be mild components, hydrogen, helium, and their numerous isotopes, produced within the earliest levels of the recent Big Bang. In mixture with the already observed Hubble enlargement, these four whole standards are the cornerstones of the Big Bang, and so they're all testable observationally. On the opposite hand, there have been many various theories floating round in these early days of cosmology, as there have been so few constraints that a lot of them appeared viable. Perhaps general relativity wasn't our right idea of gravity, and one thing just like the Milne universe can be right. Perhaps our mild simply acquired drained throughout this cosmic journey, and it gave the impression to be redshifted resulting from this issue, not resulting from cosmological enlargement. Perhaps the universe was an oscillating plasma. Perhaps there was a big rotational movement to the universe, along with this enlargement movement we observe. But the most well-liked various is right now referred to as the steady state idea. It was based on what's now referred to as the perfect cosmological principle, which hypothesized that the universe wasn't simply the identical, uncommon, in all places in house, but additionally in time. That irrespective of while you appeared on the universe, uncommon, you'd all the time see the identical factor. This is the core tenet of the steady state idea, that the universe isn't simply the identical in all places, but additionally everyone. The steady state universe isn't simply everlasting, however timeless. That appears tough to do in a universe that's stuffed with stars, as a result of stars burn based mostly on the gasoline inside them, and that gasoline runs out. It appears tough to do in a universe that's increasing, as a result of the matter in it'll dilute over time and change into much less dense which implies we anticipate the variety of galaxies per unit volume to evolve over time. But the steady state idea had, relying in your perspective, both a superb repair or a catastrophic cop-out, it hypothesized that, because the universe expands, new particles like protons and electrons get created. This matter creation area, its proponents argued, would replenish the universe because it expanded, permitting for it to seem timeless. In the 50s, the steady state mannequins proponents derided the Big Bang as a non-secular thought, not a scientific idea. The title itself, Big Bang, derived from steady state proponent Fred Hoyle's derogatory remarks in regards to the speculation on BBC radio, whereas Big Bang proponent George Gamow delighted in how simple it was to impress his scientific antagonists. All of this wasn't determined, as we generally inform the story right now, with the invention of the anticipated low temperature background of radiation, the cosmic microwave background. Rather, it was four subsequent, extra detailed observations which have dominated out the steady state mannequin as a viable various right now. 1. The measurement of the spectrum of the cosmic microwave background. If the Big Bang is right, the leftover bath of radiation ought to have a cosmic origin and be an ideal black body in its spectrum, following a selected power distribution. If the steady state idea is right, there might also be an omnidirectional bathtub of radiation, 
from starlight absorbed and re-radiated by mud. But that is good. The two background can be related, however measurably completely different. The purpose is that the early universe, underneath the assumptions of the recent Big Bang, will probably be a single good black body. But the sun, like all stars, is definitely a collection of black bodies at completely different temperatures, because the photosphere of any star is definitely the ultimate few dozen kilometers beneath its floor. Since the 90s, our devices have been adequate to inform the distinction between these two situations, and the radiation spectrum reveals it's a single black body, not the sum of a collection of many black bodies. The Big Bang will get validated, the steady state idea will get busted, too. The commentary that the universe actually was hotter within the distant previous. This is an excellent case of the place we grew to become in a position to measure one thing we had no thought learn how to measure initially, what the temperature of this leftover radiation background was not solely right now, however at completely different factors all through the universe's historical past. If the steady state idea had been right, the temperature of this background ought to be impartial of time and redshift, but when the Big Bang had been right, the temperature ought to rise linearly with redshift, proportional to the amount, 1 plus Z, the place Z is the noticed redshift. By how radiation interacts with matter at a wide range of redshifts, we will really measure what the temperature of this background of radiation should have been at numerous distances and redshifts. As you may see, above, there's not solely a transparent rise, however the noticed rise, blue factors, inexperienced factors, and pink factors, all with error bars, follows the black dotted line very properly, the precise predictions of the Big Bang. This direct measurement once more agrees with the Big Bang and contradicts the steady state mannequin. 3. The discovery that galaxies and galaxy densities within the universe actually do evolve over time. With the arrival of contemporary telescopes, we will take a look at the universe and discover galaxies not solely million, however billions and even tens of billions of light years away. When we do, we discover that two items of proof that allow us to discern between the Big Bang and the steady state theories, the quantity density of galaxies and the noticed properties of the galaxies themselves. If the steady state idea is right, each of those properties ought to be an identical right now to what there are at nice distances, the universe ought to be uniform in each house and time. But if the Big Bang is right, there ought to be no better numbers of galaxies per unit volume up to now, because the universe is predicted to have been denser, and people early galaxies ought to be smaller, bluer, and decrease in heavy components. The Big Bang's predictions are exactly what we observe, contradicting what the steady state mannequin predicts and placing additional nails into its coffin, for, the discovery that even in essentially the most pristine populations of gasoline, there are nonetheless components apart from hydrogen. This is one other very massive one, if the steady state idea is right, and matter, within the type of protons and electrons, is continually being created within the areas between galaxies, we should always observe populations of gasoline which are made from pristine hydrogen and nothing else. However, if the Big Bang is right, then there was a very popular and dense origin to the universe, and there ought to have been an interval the place nuclear fusion occurred very early on. That signifies that any gasoline we discover, even when it's by no means shaped stars earlier than, ought to nonetheless haven't simply plain previous hydrogen with one proton and one electron, however deuterium, helium-3, helium-4, and a tiny little bit of lithium-7. In 2011, we discovered the primary pristine populations of gasoline, and so they nonetheless had been made from about tilde 25% helium, by mass. In addition, even essentially the most metal poor, with the fewest heavy components, and therefore the smallest quantity of star formation historical past, galaxies and gasoline clouds ever seen nonetheless have helium and deuterium, and lithium, the place we will measure it. Again, the Big Bang's predictions match our observations, and the steady state idea provides solutions that battle with what we observe. 
you would possibly ask yourself, fairly moderately, well, if this is what the evidence indicates, then surely everyone who didn't accept the Big Bang in the 1960s had changed their tune by the late 1990s and beyond, proper. If solely, Fred Hoyle, Thomas Gold, Herman Bondy, Jeffrey Burbage, and lots of different steady-state theorists, together with the educational descendants of those influential pioneers, continued to maneuver the goalposts and provide you with continued excuses and psychological gymnastics to keep away from the one acceptable conclusion, the proof helps the Big Bang and never the steady-state mannequin. Yet they by no means reached that time, arising with quasi-steady-state fashions, deriding the existence of a mysterious cosmic fog, the cosmic microwave background, and publishing ineffective paper after ineffective paper accusing their friends of groupthink and decrying the dearth of excellent alternate options. From 2001 to 2010, these four males, all clinging to their antiquated concepts of what science should be slightly than what it was, all handed away. Of the quasi steady state advocates of word, solely giant null cast days, of the arguments in assist of it and in opposition to the Big Bang, there have been none of word for a few years. The steady state idea has been condemned not by groupthink, however, by the proof. If anybody tells you otherwise, you now know precisely learn how to take a look at it for yourself. Human beings might lie, however, the universe itself, in the event you ask it the precise questions on itself, by no means will.